Hey everyone, welcome to and back to my channel. I hope everyone's doing well. In today's video, I want to do a comparison between my two SOGs, my Louis Vuitton key pouch clay and my Chanel classic card holder. Um, so this is a great video if you are looking to um, enter into the luxury design world, if you want to start your collection and you just want to know what is your first piece, what should um, define you, what do you want to spend your money on, and most importantly, which item is going to fit your lifestyle. So I have both of these items and I think they're a great choice to compare and contrast. I use them every day and I would love to share them with you. So let's get started. So at first we have the Louis Vuitton key pouch clay. Now I know that this particular isn't meant for as a card holder or, or it's not really a card holder in general but the best thing about this item and why it's so popular is because you can use it for so many ways so it's very um, versatile plus the price is really good so like I said this is the Louis Vuitton key pouch clay and as of right now it ranges for $215 so $215 and the reason why I say right now because when it comes to luxury they always like to um up the prices so when i got this and i got this last year it was 205 dollars plus tax and now it's 215 dollars so it went up about 10 dollars and you know hopefully it stays like that for the end of this year but you never know they can just up the price whenever they please so i have this in the monogram print which means the louis vuitton signature logo so it has one in the front and one in the back and you have all of the Louis Vuitton signature um, pictures or logos as well and it's just a very nice rounded type of look and you see on the bottom and then you have gold zipper and I had this for about a year so the zipper has not tarnished and it has been used a lot and it has been used um, in the rain and especially with the COVID-19 I definitely like to hand sanitize it a lot so um, you don't have to worry about the the interior being damaged because it's still fine I don't see any bad wear and tear I don't see any peeling with the hand sanitizer and you know water and soap which people like to um, try to stay away from monogram because of the it can go down but since there's no um, letter um, material which means so it doesn't darken aka machetta there's you can wet this and there's not going to be any problem and I think the only flaw that I see so far or minor wear and tear will be the stitching has come off a little bit right here so you can see right there yeah the two stitching but besides that it's still great condition the zipper is smooth if you do get one and the zipper is rough I definitely recommend to return it because it shouldn't be like that so here's the inside of the interior it's like a light brown the camera's picking up a little darker but it's pretty much around this color it's a nice light brown it's not completely dark and then right here it just says Louis Vuitton Paris mine was made in the USA so you mind might say Louis Vuitton Paris made in France I don't mind I'm just happy that I got one because this has been sold out and it's still unavailable online uh, and I also talk about how to get the items that are sold out which both of these items are at, at the end of the video too so right here you have the hook and basically it's not like a regular hook you know how a regular hook where you push it and then it comes up for this one you have to push it down and I believe hold these two buttons and then this will come up I personally I can't do this for the sake of me um, especially that I have my long nails but once again I'll try to show you I know I'm not gonna be able to do it but so I think you hold these two down, so there's one on this side as well. You push it, and then you're going to hear it like that, and then this should come up. So 
So if you're like me and you can't figure it out and it's just too frustrated, frustrated for you, that's okay. What I do, I just take my regular keys and I just like clasp them on there and I just put it in there. So if you can't figure this out, it's fine. You can still just hook something um, inside of there and just put it to go. So this is how I use it. So I'm going to show you how I personally use it in general. Oh, and then I'm going to tell you guys the measurements. So for this one, it's 4.7, which is the length. So 4.7. The height is 2.8 and then the width is 0 0.4 inches. So once again, the length is 4.7, the height is 2.8, and the width is 0 0.4 inches. Okay, and this also comes in two other prints, the Damier Ben print, which is a dark, um, dark brown slash black checkered print, and Damier Zor, which is a white slash cream checkered print. I decided to go for the classic monogram because this will be my second, um, not actually my first monogram piece as an SOG, and I thought it was really cute. I love the classic LV. The Damier Ben is really pretty as well, but I just decided to go for the monogram. So now I'm going to show you how I use it. So in total with me, I have about... These are the cards that I have. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten cards with me in total. I don't use ten cards in general, but of course I want to use it, show you because of this video. So I personally would take with me my license, two cards. And that's it. A license and two cards. I don't carry cash that much. And if I have like a receipt with me, then I would need it. So let me pick this up. Oh. And by the way, just a quick disclaimer. If you see me, um, my gosh, my nose. If you see me struggling with the item to, especially with the cards, putting them in and out, it's not the item itself. It's because of my nails. Um, I just got them done last week, and I haven't had long nails in a while. So, it's not the item itself. It's, it's me in general. So, so here are my cards. Um, I have um, a blank card, which came with the Chanel card holders, and I'm just using it, too, as a card in general. Plus, it helps block out my information. So, I would take it, open it up, and I do keep the, the class inside. I'm going to put it in, and then there you go, and I just zip it up. So here you go. So here's what I mean how versatile it is. It's not just for your keys, and the reason why they call it key patch clay, because you know, you hook up your keys, you put it inside, and when you put your keys inside, it's supposed to protect your keys from your bag so it's not scratching up the interior. However, you can also use it to put your cards. So as you can see, I just put three cards inside, which I personally use, but I'm gonna show you how many more that you can put inside as well. So that's what I mean how amazing and how sought out after this piece is because this is perfect for you wanna get your first um, luxury designer piece, you want a card holder or you want like a mini wallet and you know you you have a budget you want to spend at least under three hundred dollars well then this is perfect because like i said it's two hundred and fifteen dollars plus tax depending where you're from but at the end of the day you're going to spend under three hundred dollars it's louis vuitton and you know you just feel it just gives you like that great feeling that this is what i want you know what i mean when you get like your first let your item piece and you didn't go too harsh on the money and you know that it's definitely something that you're gonna lose, you're gonna use in your lifestyle. You know what I mean? You don't want to buy something that spend a lot of money on it. You just keep it on display, and you're just like, why did I buy this? I can't even use it. I spent too much money on it. This is why this is so sought after. It's always out of stock online and in store because you can use this for so many ways. So now I have three cards in here. So I'm gonna show you. Let me see how many more I can put. I'm going to say one, two, three, four, 
So now I'm going to put four more. And I'm going to see if four more can fit. And, yep. So now, in total, so now you can you guys see, I have seven cards. So that's perfect. So you can have your license, your cards, your um, credit cards, your debit cards. Maybe you have a gift cards. Like I have my um, gas station gift card. And you have seven cards inside. And then you still have room for here. If you can see the space right here. So another thing I like to use it for is kind of like a mini uh, catch-up. And if you don't know what a catch-up is, it's just basically like... Um, a mini bag that you can put like your lip balm, your mini perfumes, rubber band, and hairpin. So, for example, I have a mini perfume and I can fit it inside of here. And then let's see if it'll close. And yeah, it's a little bulge out, but you can see that it still will fit. Or, I have a hairpin and I can put that inside. And then there you go, the hairpin is inside. You can see right there. And then I'm gonna try a rubber band. Oh, yep, yeah, and it fits. And let's zip it up. Yeah, see? So you have seven cards inside, a hairpin and a rubber band. I mean, that's perfect. And you know, look how small it is, but it just, it just, you know, it just feeds the purpose, like, oh, you know, it's just for a key pouch or just for my keys, you know, do I really need it? This is why people want this so bad. This is why this is a perfect choice for your first um, item, not just for Louis Vuitton, but for luxury in general. And I think this is how Louis Vuitton gains so many of their new customers because the way they create their product, it's not just for one thing. They make sure it can be used for so many things, and this is why... To this day, this piece is so sought after. I don't know what year it particularly came out, but you know, it's 2020 and this is still, if you go online right now, I will put the link for it in my description box. It's still out of stock online. You can call the Louis Vuitton um, hotline and they'll say, yeah, we still don't know when it's gonna be available. But like I said, at the end of the video, I will tell you guys a few pointers of how you could possibly get it. So. Now we have seven cards. Ooh, okay. So I think the only con I would say for this item is that when it comes to cash and receipts, so basically paper, be careful when you put this inside because since the zipper is so um, high up on the top, and let's say you just fold the cash or paper receipt once, it can get stuck in the um, fold of the zipper. So when you put it, see how it's kind of like stuck, it was a little bit stuck because the cards are so high up. So imagine if you have cash on top of that or receipt, it does get stuck. And I remember the first time it got stuck, I thought that I was going to rip the zipper or I was going to have to go to Louis Vuitton or something. So be careful when it comes to cash and receipts. You have to fold it up at least two or three times. Make sure it's pushed um, all the way down here so it's not touching the fold of the zipper so it doesn't get stuck. So now I'm gonna put at least three more cards. One more. So remember I had seven cards and now I'm gonna add three more. So it's gonna be about 10. It's gonna be 10. Let's see, can it fit? Oh yeah. So if you guys can see. And I think the reason why it can fit so many because you have this thing that it spans so much. So let's see if it can zip. Yep. So in total I have 10, 10 cards inside of here. And you would not think that visually it can fit that much. I think 10 would be the mats. Maybe you can fit 12 or 13, but I think 10 is definitely the mats. Um, it's not bulging at all. And I, when I fill it, I actually have space right here. 
so because they're all right here I actually have a little bit space on both sides so it's mostly in the middle but so yeah now I have 10 cards inside and then let's see I can still put let's see do a rubber band and I still have the hairpin inside and I just put the rubber band inside so I can show you yeah you can see the rubber band and I just still put that inside and then there you go so that's so amazing how to this day it still like baffles me like wow this can fit so much and another reason another way you can use it I see people they attach it with this hold on let me start taking stuff out they hook this to their um their jeans or their shorts or so kind of or their belt so they use it as a little accessory or it's kind of like a really mini mini fanny pack so if they need something it's right there right in front of them you can hook it onto your purse you can hook it onto your backpack um it's just such a great piece it's so cute very pretty um i love it i love the monogram i love how the lv symbol just pops out definitely a great piece so hopefully i show you guys enough details of what you can use for it um one more time i fit 10 cards inside i think 12 to 13 maybe 14 is a match but you don't want to expand it too much and Here's a zipper. I had this for a year. It's still no tarnish on a zipper as it should be. It should not tarnish so quickly. And then the only flaw I have is just the, the stitching. So that is my key pouch. And I'll show you, I'll tell you guys how to get it um, at the end of the video. Because I want to move on to the Chanel. So this is my latest piece. I bought her my this about a month ago in July so this is the Chanel classic card holder in the color pink or they call it bubblegum pink or Barbie pink and she is from the 20s collection so 20s means um, if you're new to Chanel then I'm gonna explain everything if you are new to Chanel then you can just skip what I'm saying but I was new to Chanel so this information definitely helped me a lot so 20S means that it came out this year, February or March, and it ended July. So it means the spring and summer collection. So that's how Chanel comes up with their items. Um, you know, kind of like how sometimes Louis Vuitton or Gucci, they do like seasonal pieces. I think Chanel's more all about that. So for about, what, February, March, April, May, June, July, for about six months, this is what they were selling. Um, they always have card holders, don't get me wrong, but what makes the season special is the type of colors that they come out with and then the type of um, different, um, I guess, designs as well. So this is from the 20S collection, and I guess it's called 20S because this year, 2020. And this now retails for $425. So it's definitely a big price jump from the Louis Vuitton. Sorry about that if you heard that um, beat. The Louis Vuitton key pouch. So the Louis Vuitton key pouch is $215. And this is $425 plus tax. So I paid about $454. And the measurements are 2.9 by 4.4 by 0.2. And centimeters so once again it's 2.9 by 4.4 by 0 0.2 um, however when it comes to other card holders so Louis Vuitton also do have card holders so if you are attractive to this style don't worry Louis Vuitton has them as well it is cheaper of course um, Gucci Saint Laurent Saint Laurent are really really good I almost got a Saint Laurent card holder but I love this color and I wanted my first Chanel piece Chanel has the widest card holder. So for example, the Saint Laurent, the Saint Laurent logo will be more down here. And, and see how it's only one slot on the front, the Saint Laurent and the Gucci 
and I think the Louis Vuitton as well, they have two slots. So it'll be one right here, one right here, and then it'll be the logo will be more in the middle. And then see how, how it's really um long right here. It'll just the other brands will be shorter. So you see how I'm always kind of holding it like that. But the other um luxury card holders it will be shorter. Maybe cut in a half like that. However, it still fits all the items that I need. I don't mind that. It feels very sturdy. So the material for this is called caviar, which is also known as petal leather. So if you can see right here, kind of, it reminds you of petal or like quilted in a way. And it's very good to have that type of material in Chanel for your SOGs because you use it a lot. It goes in a lot of your bags and you know it moves around a lot so it's definitely durable so the color here is called um, champagne gold but it's definitely more silver so if you're like me and you want a silver look instead of a gold look don't worry it's definitely um, has a more stronger silver the gold does come up depending on the light so if I go like this, you kind of see how it looks more gold, but naturally it's silver, which I like. I think pink and silver is really pretty together. And then you have more of the pebble caviar material, and then you have two slots in the back, and then you have in the middle. And if you push it up, right, right here, you have the logo, and it says Chanel and gold. And then right here, it should say made in Italy so for this particular piece it can be made in Italy or made in Spain so in total you have four slots so how I naturally carry it will be I put my my license in the front so I'm going to show you so here I have my license and then the back I have my two, I'm gonna use my blank cards as credit cards so you guys can see how I put it. And another thing about this um, type of material, it's so easy to put your items in. When I, when I first had my Louis Vuitton wallet, which I sold to get this, it was a Louis Vuitton Zoe wallet. I had it for almost a year and it was so hard with the letter but this material everything just goes in really smooth like I said if you see me struggling it's not the material it's because of my nails and there you go so I usually have two in the front my license in the I mean sorry two in the back my license in the front and then you can add about two or three cards well I would do I don't like to overstuff so I have, push it in, just want to be really delicate, okay, so now I have two cards in the middle. So it's definitely pack. I choose this color because I'm a pink girl, I loved it, I remember the first time I saw it on Instagram, I had to have it. Um, just like the key pouch clay, it's so hard to find. Um, you can't buy it online, and this is in Chanel in general. I'll go in more detail at the end of the video, but just put it out there. You can't buy it online. You have to buy it in store, especially if you're a first-time Chanel buyer, but I'll go into that at the end of the video. So I have one, two, three, four, five cards in total. Now, you can put up to three cards in each slot. I personally don't want to do that because I don't want to span the canvas and I don't want to bulge it out. But just to show you, I'm going to put two cards in the front. Let's see. Yep. So you can have two cards in the front. And then I'm going to put another card right here. Hold on, this has no material. I'm gonna tie my Chanel so card. There you go. So then you have 
another two in here. So you have two, four, how many do I have? Five, and then six, seven. So now I have seven cards in total. So let's say you want to do three cards in each. If you have three, six, nine, and then you can probably put up to ten. I mean, um, two more, so it can be about eleven. So does it fit as much as a key pouch clay? Key pouch clay? Yes, it does. You can fit ten cards inside of here. However. Because you have one slot for the key pouch clay, you can just stuff everything in. But you would think because you have more, it would be kind of less um, less worrisome. However, I find that opposite. Because you have more, you have more options on how to store it. But you just don't want to bulge it out because of the, not just the material, but the way how it's structured in general. Like, I would never use it like this. I won't have two in here three in here and four in here. That's not how I personally would use it. I don't like that. Let me just take some things out. I think if you want to put more items, then that's when you have here the middle in general, so you can put more. And of course you can put cash, receipts, all of that. So then I'm going to put, let's see, I'm gonna, in the middle, I'm going to try to put more cards to see how much can fit. So I have one, let's see, I'm going to pretend this is a card, two, push it in, where is my... I'm gonna use my gas station card. Let's see, three, and then it starts to feel a little tight. Let's see, push. Like I said, it's not the card holder, you guys. It's my nails, so bear with me, please. Okay, three, and I'm gonna do one more, four. So now I have four cards in total, and then I'm gonna do my license. and then five. So in total, I have five cards in here. And I think since there is some space right here, I think you can fit about two more and then maybe on the other side, you can probably fit maybe one more. So I think about six or seven cards can just fit in the middle. So that's if you just wanna use it like that. Maybe you wanna put cash in the front. Um, you wanna put your paper receipts in the back. So that's a great way to use it as well. So it's all in the middle and you're not bulging up the three other slots. So that's a great way to use it. Um, I don't use it as a cat shell, meaning I won't put like a rubber band or hair pins and stuff like that. Whereas this one can use it. So now it's all about which one do you prefer? Honestly, if you have a budget, you want to spend under $300, then it's a key patch clay for sure. However, if you don't really have a budget, it's all about which card fits your lifestyle. And then also, which one are you more attracted to? I love them both. They're both pretty. Um, they both give me that awe feeling. You know, I love this piece because it's my first Chanel piece. I love the color. Um, it's my first colorful SOG. I mean, and it comes in many other colors as well. If you're not a pink girl, that's totally fine. They have it in purple, they have it in blue, green, red, black, all of that. So that's what you have to um, focus on when it comes to choosing. Price point, you know, um, your own, I guess you can say personal aesthetic and your lifestyle. Which one's going to fit your lifestyle? I did not buy them at the same time. I bought this first and then I bought this as well. So now I'm going to go to how to get these. So like I said, both of these items are out of stock online. So when I do give you guys the description, I mean the link, which will be in the description box, you're going to see out of stock, unavailable. So what you can do for the Louis Vuitton one, you can call the Louis Vuitton hotline, um, give them the reference number, which will be on the website. 
and they can tell you if any Louis Vuitton web stores by you have it. If they do have it, they can um, call, get, get your information, give it to the essays that work at the store by you, and then the essays should call you. If it's past three days and the essays have not called you, call again because they're either too busy or it got sold or maybe they're holding up, holding it for someone else, like their own personal clients. That has happened. So don't expect to call right away. So that's number one. Call LV, have give have them get your information and they can give it to um, a Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton store that has it near you. Or you can call LV and just see if any Louis Vuitton store has it, which means you can do a phone order. So let's say you live in Florida, but Florida doesn't have it, but a store in New York has it. So they give your information to the New York SA, and let's say the next day she calls you, he or she calls you, or touches you. They send you a picture. It's gonna be a live picture, live video. If you want a video as well, go ahead and request the video. You wanna make sure it's close to perfect. And then if you want it, then you'll do a phone order. So it doesn't have to be in particular where you are. It can be all over the USA or a different country if that's the same reason how they do it. A third thing you can do is bookmark the website. That's how I got it. Bookmark it, bookmark it and check, 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 check. I can't tell you what particular time or day um, that it will randomly pop up. It just happens. For me, it was on a Sunday in the afternoon Hey, maybe it might be a Sunday afternoon for you too. I'm not sure. But you just have to keep on checking it. That's the best thing you can do. And number four, which I also recommend, is Instagram. That's how I got my Palm Springs mini backpack and my toiletry pouch 15. Go on Instagram and search um, Louis Vuitton Sales Associates or Louis Vuitton Client Advisors. You're going to see their profiles on Instagram. And usually they'll have their phone number as a header. And you can text them. You can say, hi, my name is so-and-so. I'm looking for the key pouch clay. And even if they don't have it, they can keep your information. So when they do have it, they can text you right away. So this is perfect because you're not relying on Louis Vuitton um, hotline to hook you guys up. You're already indirectly connected to that person. They have your information. And don't just do like one person. Do like contact five or six or ten. Like if you go on my contact list, I have like six or eight Louis Vuitton sales associates. Because the more the merrier. You know, you might have three that they don't have it. And then maybe two days later, um, you find another Louis Vuitton sales associate. And they might have it. And remember, they don't have to be in your state. They can be out of your state. And you can do a phone order with them. Um, I... The only thing I can, if you are worried about scam, I mean, you should particularly know the profile should be legit. They should, they should be dressed in their Louis Vuitton um, work uniform. They should be taking pictures of the items. They should be, their profile should all be about Louis Vuitton. The store, the products, and like wearing a uniform, and etc. And of course, they should have a lot of followers. If you see the person's just like, they don't have any proof, they don't have any pictures of Louis Vuitton items, they're not wearing a uniform or a name tag, then of course stay away from, that's a scammer. I never dealt with that, but that's something else to look out for. So those are my four um, tips how to get a sold out item. Not just this, but any sold out item. Now, for Chanel. Chanel is completely different. Chanel, if you are a first time buyer, you can't buy um, online in general they're not letting you buy online but you they do not do phone orders you have to go to the boutique so what you do is call Chanel and say hi I'm interested and you know this card holder um, so I'm gonna give you guys a reference number for the pink one now remember this reference number is not just for all of the card holder it's just for the pink one but the link that I'm going to link in the description is going to be for um, the black ones. Just so you can, you know, see more pictures of it. But let's say you are interested in the pink one. Then here is the reference number. So what you're going to do is you're going to give them this one. The one that starts with AP. And they're going to ask for this number. The 5B648. So I think this is just for pink. Or I don't know if it's in general. But here, so you can have it. So you're going to give them this number. 
these numbers and letters and you're going to give them these numbers and letters so i'm just gonna okay so you're gonna say hi i'm looking for this Chanel code card holder you give they're gonna ask for the reference number you give it to them and they're gonna see if there are any chanel boutiques by you that have it and if they do have it then you can set up an appointment or you can just go get it this is great so you don't have to drive all the way to chanel especially if it's like 30 minutes 45 minutes or an hour away from you and they don't have it and you kind of feel like it's been a waste of time that's what i did i didn't want to drive out there they don't have it and it's a waste of time so i recommend doing that as well um so that's my first thing that you can do second if there's no chanel by you and you know you're a first time buyer then you could buy off of an instagram personal shopper um there are legit ones if you are interested in one let me know i can give you a few that i completely trust i almost bought it off instagram but i decided to just go to the actress chanel store it was about 30 45 minutes for me but lucky for me my boyfriend took me so i was really thankful for that it will be over retail price but it's not going to be dramatic it's maybe be a hundred or hundred and fifteen dollars more so for Chanel, you're more, I guess, you're more limited to a sold-out item or just buying the item in general versus Louis Vuitton. If you're a first-time buyer, you can still buy it online and you can still make a phone order as well. Um, also, like I said, if you don't want pink, there are many other colors. If you're a purple girl, just go on YouTube and type in Chanel 20S Purple SOG and you're going to see the beautiful purple that they have. And also just type in... Go on Instagram and type in Chanel 20S and you're going to see people and sellers that post their Chanel's and you can see the type of colors they have and, you know, just get into it, especially if you're a first time Chanel buyer. You're doing your research and that's what's really important. So if you do want the purple one, the reference number that I gave you is not for the purple, it's for the pink. So if you do find a color that you want, I recommend go on Instagram, type in Chanel 20S, whatever the color is and message either sellers or people you know like me that are showing off their card holders and say hey i'm really interested in this card holder may i please have the reference number and someone might give it to you if it's a seller and they don't give it to you for some reason they will say no because you know they're selling it and they want to keep the information private i don't understand why because it's not like you're asking them for the receipt or they're like um their car details so if they do say no be prepared for that but if you have someone like me that's willing to show you the reference number then there you go so there you guys have it guys here are my two SOGs I hope I answer all your questions I, I know some of my videos have been so long and I'm sorry about that but I just want to make sure I'm very te detailed and you know give you guys all the correct information that I can of course if you have any more questions comment down below and I would love to answer it to you so I'm even more detailed on it I believe I covered everything they're both great pieces. I love them so much. Comment below which one do you like. Um, do you have any of these? Or if you are looking to expand your collection, which one would you pick? Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.